It will take more than a sprinkle of Mary Poppins magic to bring the UK's stages back to life. Here in Plymouth, 100 jobs are on the line, and the future of the country's largest regional theatre hangs by a thread, as the fallout from COVID-19 really begins to bite. We've just had no choice, really. We've been supporting our entire workforce since the 16th of March when the government instructed us to close, but we've come to the end of the road there. If we, if we don't make a decision now, we will be insolvent within a matter of months. The theatre has lost a staggering 91% of its income since lockdown began. Even when the doors are finally able to reopen, that's an awful lot of programmes and interval ice creams to make up the shortfall. At the moment people come early, they meet friends, they drink before the show, some of them come and have a meal before the show, use the theatre as a social space during the day. All evidence is people aren't going to do that. If they do come, and when they have the confidence to come, it will be much more to come and see the show and go back. There won't be that mingling. So an awful lot of the support and the amenities we provide the public with now front of house will not be required. Ever since the very start of the pandemic, there's been this huge cloud hanging over the creative sector. And today it really seems like we're starting to feel the effects. I've spoken to several staff members today. They all told me they're devastated at the news. The theatre has been our workplace for, for many of us for many, many years. We've worked so well as a team and we've the good times and the bad times within the theatre. The future is uncertain now for everyone. Freddie Crossley, assistant director at the Theatre Royal for the last two years, didn't want to speak on camera, but he got his point across with a homemade sign. Freddie is now preparing to leave Plymouth to look for work elsewhere. He's one of many, just hoping that in time, the bright lights will shine again. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Plymouth.